Hey, if you've ever wanted to do an eyeball dissection, but you don't know how, this video is for you. We're gonna get into a basic uh, setup and how you're gonna go through that process in just as short a time as I can get it to you. Let's go. So there are five things you need to find on the outside of the eye. The first one is the cornea. The cornea is a clear dome-shaped lens of sorts that does the focusing of light, the first maybe 80%. And then next to it is the sclera, which is the white part of the eye, and it's a tough connective tissue layer that protects the eye. Then as you flip the eye over, you should be able to find muscle, fat, and then the optic nerve, which you may or may not have to dig for. Now making the first incision, you're gonna take a scalpel, a razor blade, and you're gonna cut where the cornea and the sclera meet. And you're just gonna remove it. So now you can see that the cornea is clear. And then we're looking at the iris and the pupil. So the next part that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the iris. You're gonna slide underneath with a pair of tweezers or forceps, and you're gonna pull. My advice to you is to not try to pull the whole thing out at one time. Move uh, about a quarter of the way around and just slowly work your way around and eventually it will come off. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove uh, the lens. And to remove the lens, I like to use tweezers. And uh, this humor has a clear jelly-like substance in it known as the vitreous body. What we see is the retina up against the back of the eye. Now the retina is where the rod and cone cells are. Those are the specific nerve endings for sight. Now in order to get a better look at the retina, the best thing to do is to take your scissors. We're gonna snip off about half a centimeter all the way around. And that's gonna give us a better picture inside. So when I pull the retina away, you're gonna notice that there's a spot on the back of the eye where the retina will not come off, and that's where the optic nerve begins. Now that structure in the back with the blue and green and shininess is called the tapetum, and you and I don't have one. Hey guys, I hope that was helpful for your eyeball dissection instructional video. Now I do have another video out there that goes through a dissection that I've done with all the explanations that I go through, the anatomy, the physiology, maybe some teaching tips you might want to watch or maybe you want to pass that on to a student who's working remotely. And also I'm planning on doing a demonstration uh, sort of dissection with no gut. So we'll, we'll pick up like a model and go through the same exact procedure, talk about how light passes through the same structures in a non-tissue um, centered dissection just with a model if you're interested in that. That card will be up there as well in this whole playlist on uh, the eyeball and eye dissections. So until next time, check us out on kicksomeclass.com and all of our other videos here on Bald Guy's Eye. See you later.